call my work an ethical barometer. I'm taking objects that we consume on a daily basis, for example, but then I take them apart, I edit their stories so that we can see something about them that we didn't see before. So, for example, I've um, done some work with um, animal-based materials, with sheep stomachs and with bones, and I try to, by putting them in another context, by um, removing them from the context where they're not valued um, properly in this split second that you actually see this material, be it a sheep stomach or um, a bone, an old bone, that you see it in a new light and you find it attractive and you really think, wow, this is amazing. You create a value that you wouldn't be able to create if you saw it in the old context because society would prevent you from seeing it in this way. And this is how it starts out. I don't start by saying, I'm going to make an armchair, I'm going to make a lamp and what is the perfect material, but I start out with seeing a value that is invisible to other people and then want the, the design is the desire to make this visible. It started from realizing how disconnected we are from the sources of the objects we consume. And I wanted to make um, a project that reconnects us with this source, that builds a bridge between the material source of an object and the object itself. So I um, picked animal objects because there is really um, strong emotional attachment to them and because I find it amazing that we use and consume animal products on a, products on a daily basis but hardly ever think back to the animal they come from. Um, so I actually went to a taxidermist to learn from him how to preserve skins, how to flesh them, how to what the process is, because I felt if I speak about this, I have to actually go back to the death of the animal to actually be able to make any judgment. Um, he gave me the chemicals to preserve the skins. That whole process started with being amazed by the materiality of something and thinking, what do I have to do as a designer to make this visible to other people, how beautiful this is. I'm developing something made in seaweed, um, or seaweed as a design material, objects made from, from seaweed in the context of a museum and I'm trying to question what a museum can do, whether a museum can be um, a space where we can discuss ideas and we can create new lo not knowledge, where we can do um, some of the R&D that maybe the big um, industry, like that industry has a problem doing because it's too risky, it takes a while. I want people to engage more with the objects they consume and to ask questions and to ask where do they come from, what is the implication if I use this. Very political, it's, uh, it's as important or more important than voting, it's you're voting for, the, for how the world is run.